Welcome back everyone to another video. So today is the first day of school and I'm gonna be taking my 2022 Ducati Scrambling Night Shift to class. Really excited, it's a beautiful day. I could not have asked for a better day. Start off the new year for me. So it is my senior year of college. This is it, this is the last first day of school I'm gonna have. So I'm really excited to take the bike that I have the opportunity to take the bike. Typically it's raining here in Seattle by this time, but we've been, we've been blessed with awesome weather. So I'm really excited to take you guys with me on an adventure to class and give you a little tour around campus. Without further ado, I'm gonna go get my gear on, meet you guys down on the bike in the garage. We'll see you there in a sec. All right guys, so I'm actually on the street right now just because it's so dark in my garage that the GoPro is not picking up good footage. So right now, I actually need to get gas unfortunately. So I'm gonna go stop at a gas station first and then I'll take you guys on the freeway and take you to my route to school. So here we go. So this is sort of the back part of my apartment, sort of an easy little back alleyway, which is kind of nice. But yeah, look at how pretty it is today. It's so sunny, no clouds. But yeah, I've actually never run the bike this low on gas before. I've only got a 10 mile range. But conveniently, there's a gas station literally right next to my apartment. There's probably, I think there's a second one up the street, but it's a little, a little bit more expensive. So today we're going to this one. But yeah, gas is still crazy expensive here in Seattle, at least downtown. It's still $6 and I think 40 cents is what I'm paying, which is pretty outrageous. Make sure we're all topped off there. Don't get any gas on the tank. All right, so yeah, check the time today, but afternoon class, it's 1 p.m. right now. It's kind of nice having an afternoon class. I don't have to wake up super early today. But yeah, I really wanted to give you guys a first ride video, but unfortunately I wasn't able to. But what I can tell you is that in this city, man, this exhaust system is just so loud. I think it sounds amazing. Maybe a little bit too loud for the city, but you know, I've had it here for a little bit and I've been pretty good around town, not riding too crazy. But it's, it's really convenient because people can hear me, so. All right, so for everyone who's new to my video, this is my second motorcycle. My first one was a 2021 KTM Duke 390, which I love, do not regret buying that bike at all. I was sort of nervous coming into the motorcycle market, but ended up wanting some, something a little bit more powerful, something that could sort of travel long distance a little bit better, which I've, you know, pushed this bike through its limits and it's been phenomenal this summer, so. This definitely was a bike that I'm looking for. Could I have gotten something a little bit bigger power-wise? Sure, but I think it's a good start. But yeah, this thing just sounds wild in the city. It sounds so good. Usually I can get it to pop really loud when it's warming up. And honestly, I was really freaked out about riding the city, but overall it's been pretty good. I try not to ride during rush hour traffic, and I haven't yet, thankfully. So I think if this is sort of your only mode of transportation, and if you have to rely on a motorcycle, I, I probably wouldn't do that. I thankfully have a light rail system, which that's how I normally get to school, but today I just want to take you guys on the bike with me. But yeah, the light rail system in Seattle is definitely improving, so I've been able to kind of go all over the place without needing to, to ride a bike or need a car. All the grocery stores where I live here, is, they're all within less than half a mile away from me, so it's really convenient. It's one thing that I didn't love about living in the suburbs as much is just the fact that you really do have to drive to go anywhere. But I'm gonna take you guys on the freeway. I could have gone just back streets, but it's not as fun, I don't think. Plus, I can take you over the bridge. You can kind of see what campus looks like from a little higher angle. The freeways, I thought I'd be freaked out by them, but I actually 
Really, really do like them. Super fun. Usually I ride when there's not that many cars out, so it's been pretty safe for me. Mariners game might be going on today. There's, there's some baseball game going on, so traffic hopefully isn't too bad. I might have to take the side streets on the way home. This bike is great. Power-wise, you know, I could drop it in the fifth and it'll be a little bit quicker, but it's good enough for, for what I want. If I want anything else, I'll pick up a second bike, but this thing looks great, sounds great, and it rides so much better than my other bike. At least at higher speeds, I would say. The KTM was really nice for Canyon Roads and just kind of cruising, but man, anything over 50 just was not as... Not as good. So for the best view of campus, I'll get the far right lane for you guys. So yeah, UW is really down there, but it, it kind of takes up all this. It's super pretty out. And then if you look back, we got Seattle. Not sure you guys can kind of see it, but Seattle's behind me, and then all of this is University District, which is where I will be going on this first exit. I have a couple friends that live down here. Some just moved away, but most people sort of live north end of campus, I would say. Not so much east. I've actually never taken this exit before. This is the first time I've done this. Oh yeah, you hear those pops? I always come up this way, I have a friend that used to live right down there. So it was really smoky, the reason why I haven't been posting that much is really just because of the fact that it's been insanely smoky the last month. There really has been no rain. And in the city it's been okay, but out in Leavenworth it's been really bad, so didn't want to film too much over there. Yeah, traffic's definitely not the best, but I mean, it's what, one o'clock? Can't expect it to be amazing. I think usually between like 10 and 1, it's the best time. And then the traffic in Seattle used to be really, really bad right before the pandemic. Pandemic definitely lightened the load a little bit. A lot, of, a lot more people working remotely, so I've appreciated that for sure. But it's building back up again. But really, I usually wear earplugs if I'm riding for sort of anything more than 30 minutes, I would say. Especially, mostly on the freeway. If I'm going slow speeds, it's not too bad, but... I might just turn here, screw it. So most of the people you're gonna see around here pretty much are students. See if I'll, I wonder if I'll see any of my friends. This bike is so loud, and that's at maybe 3,000 RPMs. Yeah, I got a bug in my visor. That's the other thing too, is like there, and then in the city in general, there's really not that many bugs. Like I haven't had to clean my windshield once, which has been amazing. Man, at home, it's like in Leavenworth, every single ride in like the first 10 to 20 minutes, dude, I swear your visor is just full of bugs. And like, I can't even ride at night. So normally this is actually my walking route. The light rail station is just behind me. So I usually walk up here. It's like maybe, maybe a half mile or a quarter of a mile, I'd say to get to my first class. 
and then the walk from my apartment building to the light rail station is a little bit longer, half a mile. So I walk about two miles a day, just getting to class, and that's only if I'm going to one. If I'm walking around or going to the gym on campus, then you know you're getting a lot of walking, and this is definitely a heavy walking campus. All right. So I'm going to make a left up here, I always forget which one it is, I think it's the next one. See if I can make it before the light stops. So yeah, I'm going to give you guys the driving tuber of campus. Man, this thing, oh, it's so loud. Jesus. I love it. I think I have to go right here. So this is sort of, what building? I think these are more of the math buildings down here. This is where the IMA is pretty close to the right. I think the Bill and Melinda Gates buildings here. And then up here, we're coming to more of the center part of campus where the hub is, you'll see that in a sec. You kind of will see the fountain, that's the, one of the big attractions at least, because you, you have Mount Rainier in the background, which is really nice. I don't think you'll see it very well, but you'll see at least the grass strip. So, over there, and then, oh yeah, you guys can see it. There's the fountain, really pretty. Mount Rainier, which you can't see today because of the smoke. Most of campus right now has been remodeled, it's new. It's really fancy. So this is the Bill and Melinda Gates building right here, actually. And then this is the main hub building. I actually used to work here for Valet when I was in high school. Did a lot of parking cars, but that's been remodeled really since I went here. We're getting pretty close now to my class. So I'm gonna park the bike here. I think I have enough room to get it here without getting towed. But I have a little time before class starts. Yeah, I'll see you guys after class and after I get parked. All right guys, so I just got back from class and thankfully we did not get towed today. But I'm gonna go probably ride around a little bit, head home, and that'll conclude the end of the video. So thank you guys for tuning in today and stay tuned for the next video. I think I'm gonna probably take the bike in another photo shoot. Just do a little video on me taking a photo shoot with the bike. So stay tuned for the next time.